Live at 6, this is 13 News Now. It has been a dreary day all across Hampton Roads, but take a look at this. We're already seeing snow in parts of Virginia. And everyone wants to know when the rain will be here or if will it be snow? Now, Jeff has been tracking this system for days. You have fine-tuned your predictions on this, Jeff. Yeah, and it's interesting. I just put out on Facebook, I was asking, you know, what people are seeing around the area, you know, who has a dusting, that kind of thing. I was specifically asking about Williamsburg because that seems to be an interesting place right now that sort of is going back and forth. As we look live right now, Williamsburg isn't showing a whole lot, but people are reporting in. One person will say, literally, it's snowing in Williamsburg. 30 seconds later, I'll get a new one saying a little bit of sleet mixed with the rain or snow here in Williamsburg. And it, the reason is because it depends on how heavily it's coming down. The temperatures aloft are cold enough for snow. Then as everything is falling, you can see how these colors just bounce all around. That's because as the precipitation falls, if it falls slowly, the temperatures are well above freezing. It has time to melt. If it falls more heavily, they don't have time to melt. So you might go from rain one minute to snow the next to a mixture and back and back and forth. The really heavy stuff right now is up near Richmond. They have heavy snow falling, especially from downtown onto the western side of the city. 38 right now here locally. Obviously, the farther north and west you go, the colder it gets. So here's what we're expecting. Mostly rain for all of our immediate area. Even the areas to the north that are getting a little bit of that mix tonight, they're likely to turn over to just rain as warm air or rain or sleet as warm air moves in aloft, probably mainly rain. Then it turns back as the system heads the other direction. These are sort of preliminary numbers, but there will be some higher amounts somewhere in a bullseye to the north. So let's just give you a quick rundown again. I'll go into details more. Just rain for most of our area for tonight. That mix Saturday will move to the east during the day. Little to no accumulation here in the immediate area. But that's a different case, north and west. A lot more coming up. All right, thanks, Jeff. Now, here in the 757, we consider this our first real taste of winter weather coming a little early this year. Could that be a sign of something special for Christmas? Yeah, we know a lot of you would love to see a white Christmas, but let's be honest, the chances are probably low. That's right, but our Philip Townsend explains why there still may be a glimmer of hope. I have a not so scientific white Christmas theory. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Right now, this is a Great Neck Road here in Virginia Beach. Not too bad, just pretty much rainy. Now, back to that white Christmas theory. I have some evidence maybe that I want to show you. Looking back five years to the first time we saw any winter weather each of those years. Starting with the 2013 season, it wasn't until January 24th that winter. This was back when VDOT was still dealing with the whole pothole blitz before the interstate saw large scale repairs. Potholes like these could turn up after a snow or a cold rain. How about 2014? Both coasts were dealing with huge snowstorms early on. Parts of North Carolina even seeing snow as early as October. All of it led to a salt shortage, but none of the effects were felt in our region until January 15th. That's when we saw our first flurries here in Newport News but they didn't stick. 2015, the winter to remember. Eight different snow events, one after the other in January and February. The first snow came on January 5th, and it was cold enough to stick to the ground here in Norfolk, you can see, but not enough to keep runners off the streets. Now, to this past winter, it was all about sharp weather shifts. A cold to warm back and forth in December, leading up to the first snow on January 9th. It was a pretty one, too. This drone footage capturing blanketed homes across Hampton Roads. Now, we obviously didn't have a white Christmas in any of those years with the winter weather coming in January. But here's my theory. The year we did have a white Christmas, 2010, it was late at night, Christmas night. Well, the first winter weather we had that year was December 5th, right around now. So who knows? Maybe if we get a flurry or two tonight, it could be a sign of a white Christmas. For now, I'm in Virginia Beach, Philip Townsend, 13 News Now. Good theory there. All right. Well, this winter weather is throwing a monkey wrench in the Virginia High School League football championships. Take a look at the new schedule here. All the games that were supposed to take place tomorrow have now been moved to Sunday. No changes in kickoff 
or locations. You can continue getting our updates even when you are away from the television. We're sending out weather alerts on the 13 News Now app. You'll also find Hampton Roads certified most accurate forecast. And of course, we will always have the latest updates on air and on our website. Well, tonight, a social media post has gone viral, shared more than 20,000 times. A sailor alleging he's the victim of racist vandalism. The Navy investigated and found out that everything's not what it seemed like. Jacqueline Lee spoke with a commander about the incident. Jacqueline. Yeah, Regina, the Navy conducted an investigation and found the sailor made it all up. It was a post that took social media by storm. A Navy sailor posted these photos online, alleging someone wrote racial slurs on his rack on board the USS George H.W. Bush. We've blurred the racist word, but you can see it's written on his walls and his sheets. Hey, Commander, it's Jacqueline Lee from Channel 13 News. We spoke with Force Public Affairs Officer Commander David Hecht about the incident. The command took it extremely serious. The command acted swiftly, initiating an investigation right away. The outcome is that there was no racial incident aboard USS George H.W. Bush. Why did the sailor do this? Yeah, that's um, just something I, I really can't go into right now. Hecht told me the E3 sailor staged the vandalism and despite the incident is still a member of the crew. Why is the sailor remaining a member of the crew? We, we value every single one of our sailors and they're young and sometimes make mistakes. Um, we've felt that administrative punishment was the best course of action. Uh, he's received some additional training um, and some counseling and we're confident that he's going to continue to be a valuable member of our crew. And I reached out directly to the sailor about why he staged the vandalism. He did not respond. Live in studio, Jacqueline Lee, 13 News Now. Next Friday is the deadline to register for the Affordable Care Health Care Insurance. The Celebrate Health Care Enrollment Fest is here to help. More than 800 people are expected to show up at the Hampton Roads Convention Center for the event. Enroll Fest has more than 15 booths with services focused on your health. That includes experts to help you figure out the best health insurance plan for you. Celebrate Healthcare hosts the event. Gaylene Conoyton is the president of Celebrate Healthcare. Please come out this weekend because we have enough enrollers here, navigators, agents, um, to help people get the best health insurance for, for them. Knoyton says the Affordable Care Act deadline is shorter this year, only 45 days. For this year's Enroll Fest schedule to go to see more of it, go to our website. Investigators say a fire at an Amazon facility in Chesterfield County is suspicious. Fire officials say employees saw smoke coming from a shipping bin around 5 o'clock this morning. A supervisor put the fire out before firefighters arrived, but the shipping center was evacuated and workers weren't allowed in when it came time for the shift change. Several agencies are investigating, even bringing in the bomb squad and canines. Amazon says the fire should not impact deliveries.